Is there someone in here with me? Wait, what? I need to leave now? Oh! Uh, what is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster, and welcome to... A Nemopolis? Nemoiopolis. I don't know how to pronounce this, but this is a liminal spaces type game. I've been seeing a lot of buzz about this over on Twitter. Thought I would check it out for myself. Let's go ahead and uh, let me just double check the options real quick. Display, full screen. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, this looks good. This looks good. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a new game. Please, and thank you. But yeah, this is a liminal. Spaces type game. Oh wow. I guess we've we've arrived. Welcome to Animoyopolis. It's closed though, unfortunately. Shouldn't take long, hopefully. What well, shouldn't take long? What a sad billboard. It is pretty sad. What is this off in the distance? I don't know. Oh I can jump. Okay. E to observe. Anime Apolis? Animoiapolis. He doesn't even know how to pronounce it. Animoiapolis. Animoiapolis. Welcome to Animoiapolis. Must have been closed for a while now. So what's this over here? Guess I can observe it if I really want to. It's a transformer. Let's take a look. Yeah, this thingy. Maybe someone needs to audit the last auditor of this spot. Wait a minute, did somebody tamper with this? Yeah, there's a wire coming out of it. The cover is missing. Oh yeah, interesting. Okay, well, let's fire, follow the wire. Oh, that doesn't look up to code. What is this even hooked up to? Guess we should go find out. Oh, look at this beautiful scenery. Incredible, rolling hills. So nice. So what do we have here? Oh, Boom! Shit, shit, shit. <laughs> Caught me off guard a little bit. I thought I could interact with it first. But no, we just get sucked right on in. Uh... <laughs> well then. I guess we've landed in the public pool. So far down here, so strange. A Nemoiopolis, I guess is what this place is called. Oh, I guess I need to go to the, uh... I should be dead right now. Where am I? <laughs> Little pool stairs here. That is a good question. Where are we indeed? E to call for help. Is anybody here? Hello? 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 Ooh. What is this? This is not good. Am I stuck down here? Oh, those are little, like, floaty boards. Huh. Left mouse button to interact. Okay, so that's locked. This big diving board, but it's currently lifted up, so we can't go up there. Not that I want to jump back into the pool, but here we are. But this might help us. Might be able to rewire this access panel. Ah. Connect each matching socket with WASD, pressing left mouse button to close the access panel. Oh, this is cool. Oh, there's like some mild puzzle mechanics with this. Oh, awesome. Don't panic, don't panic. I, I kind of want to run around, see if there's anything else I can observe or take a look at, but... I believe this is a horror light game. How do I get out of here? So I don't know if it's like a full-on, full-on horror game. Wait, can I like hold and move? No, no, it's not like amnesia. Interesting. Wee! <laughs> he has such a spry little hop. He's just like, bloing, bloing. It's very Mario-esque. A 3D first person Mario. <laughs> okay, well, let's take a look here. Maybe I can bridge the gap between here and that balcony. Oh, okay. How would I? do that though. K 
can I move this thing? So there's moving gears, move it left and right. Watch your fingies though. Aha, okay. Shift and run, space to jump, cool. Oh, nice. Oh, not nice. This place is kind of creepy, kind of spooky. Locked. Locked. Who needs an underground pool? Locked. Locked. Locked again. Oh. It's so noisy down here. Might have to force my way out of here. Nobody's around to let me out. Pretty nice pools, though. Pretty nice underground pools. So what is this? What? Huh. Weird. Oh, and this needs a... A pin pad? Electronic lock. No access panel? Is there a way to break it? Yeah, shoot something out of this, apparently. Do I have, like, a plunger or something? What's up here? Five tickets. For a Nemoiopolis. Weird. Okay. Ah, it's a water sprayer. Interesting. What do I do with it, though? What's this? Oh, I think I think I turned on the pump for the other one, and it went straight through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It went straight through the window, the glass. <laughs> cool. So that short-circuited it. That means we can just open it. Gosh, that whole room is so noisy. Locked. Oh. Left mouse button for next level. Sure. It's just a sponge keeping the door open. Appreciate it. Mr. Sponge. Oh. Hello? Is anybody here? Anybody at all? Please and thank you. Turn all that water on! Oh, that is some bright water. Okay, such a strange... Hello? Strange environment that we're put in. Oh. Yes! Okay, we can flush the toilet? I always know that means it's a 10 out of 10 game. Get some of the urinals here. Doesn't seem like there's any tickets or anything inside of these. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's get that funky music playing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is there gonna be anything in any of these lockers? Does not look like it on this side. <laughs> Hippity hoppity. Okay, let's just open every single one first. Didn't mean to close you. Okay, nothing in here. I'm not gonna open every single one. Because <laughs> it seems like... Oh, but I really want to. I really, really want to. The buzzing of these lights. I want to know what this funky music is, though. Next level. Oh, is that where I came from? That might be where I came from. What am I doing? I mean, I guess we are trapped in what would uh, apparently be the back rooms in some degree. Some version of the back rooms, liminal space. I don't know if this is necessarily the back rooms, because it... Oh, what is that? 
tickets. I got five more tickets. Okay, I'm opening every single one of these. I'm opening every single one. I like the reflection on the uh, the doors. This is very nice. Okay, nothing in these. Weird. So there's got to be something I can find within all these outside of just tickets. I wonder if the tickets are just like a general collectible. Or if you can actually use them later on in the game. Gosh, dang it. Okay, nothing here. Let's check the back side. It's very satisfying. <laughs> I always love uh, kind of liminal space games. They have a, a specific kind of aura and mysteriousness to them that like, you really don't know what to expect as you're going along. Whether it's going to be just a... Dang it. <laughs> going to be a game that's just related to the spaces themselves? Or if it is going to be more of a, like, a survival horror kind of game? Ooh, even more tickets. Cool, up to 15. Okay, I'm glad I'm opening these. I don't know what the tickets do yet. But we're getting them. We're getting them. Tickets are being acquired. You know what? We get to listen to some sweet, sweet, funky music in this place as well as we go along. You know, I don't mind that. <laughs> riveting. <laughs> the most riveting gameplay anybody has ever seen! I'm opening every locker! <laughs> okay, okay, alright, alright. It's going well, it's going well. Okay, so I opened that side already, so that's good. So I've only got two more of these things to open, it seems. I'm glad I caught the tickets in the pool room, by the way. I wasn't expecting there to be really anything at all, but... Um, you know, we, we got some things. Oh, I already opened this side. Perfect, perfect! Such a, such a silly and simple portion of the game, but I'm enjoying this. Why, I, 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 I truly have not seen anything other than just some information on like Twitter. Just people being like, oh man, this game's a great example of liminal spaces. Uh, so I don't actually know if this is becoming or going to turn into a horror game in any regard. <laughs> so far this game is Throwing me into a sense of... Oh, dang it. A sense of calm that I'm not going to be interacting with anything scary or terrifying as of yet. Man, I still haven't found all of these? I swear I've already opened them all. It's okay, we got this, we got this. Okay, got all those. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah? Oh uh, yeah. Maybe after I open them all, something is gonna happen? But yeah, I'm just fully expecting there to be like some creepy thing inside of one of these lockers. Like the very last one we open up. 25 tickets. Okay. The ticket master. Come on. Okay, that's gotta be all of them, right? Got everything in those. Oh, oh wait, this leads back to the bathroom. Which I've already been in here. Wait, did I not have to open up any of those? Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I came from here, right? Oh, yeah, there is another door. Okay, so I came from there. Check the urinals, no more tickets? No, no, no. Open. Open up all the lockers. That's good, that's good, that's good. So that means this way should be the way to go. Right? 
think so. Yeah. Into the showers now. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, get a good rinse! Oh, so fresh, so clean. Okay, we're done. Hello? I heard something. Tickets? <gasps> More tickets! Up to 30 now? Cool. That's a lot of tickets around there. Okay, I'm gonna see on the outer rim. More tickets. I, I feel like these are going to be really important, right? Oh, here's the plant. Yeah, I feel like these are going to be really important if I keep running into them. This is where we just came from. Yeah. Okay, long hallway. Yeah, that... That brought us back from, this is the hallway on the edge. So then this is the next place to go? Exit. Maybe I can find my way out of here. So I'm wondering if the whole point of the game is just to get back to the surface. And it's kind of walking through these strange spaces in between everything. Hello? Gotta be the next level, right? So what's over here? Locked. What about you? Also locked. Okay. Elevator it is then. Only one button. Up. Going up. <laughs> Going up. Saving. Cool. Yep. Upsies. Upsies, please. My eyes. <laughs> okay, cool. What kind of place are we going to be in now? Bing bing. Ah. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, I like this. Very interesting kind of vibe going on overall. Reminds me of the inside. I thought that was an outline of someone. It's like a weird mall. <laughs> this would be like some vendor, some food person. Gosh, uh, this game has cursed me already. Now I just really want to look around for these tickets. Remember, every sale is one ticket. Every sale is one ticket. <gasps> is that mini golf down there? I want to play some mini golf. These don't open. Tier three and surface is what we've got here. Please wait for five elevators. What? <laughs> Please wait for five elevators to arrive? Not quite sure what you mean by that. Huh. Is this... Is this supposed to be like a hub world? Family... Tropical Resort, a hundred tickets. You need a hundred tickets to use this elevator. Oh, 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 I see. So yeah, the tickets are incredibly important then. So what does that mean for me then? Oh my gosh, this place is massive. So it seems like there's five elevators then that require tickets. And then once I've done all five of the elevators, I should be able to Get myself back to the surface. 10 tickets. Oh, heck yeah. 45. Okay. 
we're doing we're doing great here. I can see tickets over here too. Five more, sweet. Up to fifty. Cool. Exit sign. Emergency. Emergency exit maybe. I don't know. Man, imagine being stuck down here. He's so lost. I get so tired too. So much space is being covered by walking through here. Uh, wait, what is this? Sale, zero tickets. The conference room, okay. So if I have no tickets, it brings me there. So let's see, that's, that's one of them. Zero tickets, this is 20 tickets. Wait, what? <laughs> Mini golf? Oh, this is great. Oh, I hit it a little too hard. So the further away, the shorter the hit, it seems. So like that would just be the tiniest little touch. Huh, okay. And I'm sorry, how many tickets was this one, 20? Okay, so we got a 20 ticket I can get into, free ticket, just no problem. That's a hundred. Oh, but we have five tickets here. Anamoya. Okay, we just went through here, but not over there. What do we have here? 40 tickets for the movie theater. Was that three or four now? Free, 20, 100, and then 40. Yeah, that's four. And then where was the fifth one right here? Aerobic fitness and relaxation, 75 tickets. All right, so yeah, so I guess we have a, a hub world and we get to go into each of these and I don't know if it's just collecting more tickets or, or what exactly we're gonna be doing in each of these sections. So, sorry, right now I'm just seeing if there's any more tickets just laying around out here. Doesn't seem to be. I guess the thing that would make sense is going into the free one first. Maybe we'll get a good amount of tickets out of there. Also, the other main question that I have is in relation to 10 more tickets. The tickets themselves, if I go up to an elevator that says it costs 40 tickets, Am I going to lose 40 by going in there? Or does it just let you in? All questions that I need to know. <laughs> so let's go to the free one first. See how this works out for us. Tickets, please. No. Ha ha ha. Sale, zero tickets. Let's go to the conference center. Press button to get free access. Quite the handshake. Business. We're doing business here. Ah, gotta keep refreshed while playing this. Hello. All right, let's get in here. Hello? Already not really a fan of this place. Just a standard outlet. The drop ceiling, classic. This, this, this honestly feels like the conventions that you go to. Sometimes you have to go through like weird back hallway areas. And this is all it is. Like when I went to VidCon, there's an entire section dedicated to uh, the industry and creator badges. There's a standard badges for viewers, creator badges, and then industry badges. They're all cost money. You don't get it. You don't get in for free if you're a creator. But uh, there's this one hall that looked identical to this, and these big walls actually moved, so they could create the the venue could create individual spaces. Uh, but it looked just like this. It was much taller uh, ceilings, but it's funny how 
there's such a a known characteristic to how some of these places look and how like event spaces are always almost always set up in a strange way it's very corporate corporatized gosh that one's loud a little too bright for me <gasps> more tickets please it's up to 75 not bad Dude, this place is infinite. <laughs> it just keeps on going. Ten tickets. What is this? Is that a whole roll? Fifty tickets. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> Look at them go. One hundred and forty-five. Wow. Okay, so it's it, you definitely you. Your tickets get taken away from you when you go into those specific elevators then, right? This is what I meant by the height, by, by the way. This is like the exact height in the conference rooms. Wait, have I been here now? Oh, I'm lost already. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, this... Red. Oh, this game's making me nervous. <laughs> like, I'm getting chills playing this just because, like, I don't know what's going to be around these corners. Okay. And I don't, and I don't have any particular objective other than just leave. So running through here... Like, I truly don't know if I should be scouting out any further to to understand if I need to grab something else. Like, this is a new section now. Oh, where does this go? A speaker system? No, it's just like a ventilation system. <laughs> what am I gonna find deep in here? I don't know. I'm very confused. Back to the tile floors. I swear, if I see something at the end of one of these hallways, I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna nope out. I'm gonna get out of here very quickly. So, like, all right, I got, I got like 60 tickets. I'm good. I'm good. Where am I going though? Are those tickets? No, it's just a drinking fountain. Could use some water. I'm very thirsty. My boy, when are you ever gonna find water again in this place? Were we in there already? No, no, we're at a lower level altogether. So that we couldn't have been over there, right? Music. The Red Hall? Oh, I'm so lost now. I guess I'll go to the music. <laughs> this is a very bizarre game. Like, I'm not entirely sure the purpose of it like what what is what is it that they're trying to accomplish and this feels like it's more of like an experimental type game at this point of just exploring these spaces 
more more so like a, a very genuine walking simulator that has just this slightest bit of story to it. We kind of come across a Nemoiapolis. We don't know what our character was doing there. It, it almost seemed like he was there to like fill out some paperwork for like a construction home or something like that. And when he arrived, he's like, oh, this is bizarre. Or maybe he was a, a some type of a inspector. Maybe he needed to take a look and kind of go through information on these houses that were built, that were potentially going to be built. <laughs> Maybe a prospector? <laughs> prospecting the land? No, that wouldn't make any sense. So it's over here. I don't think I went back here yet. Yeah, because there wasn't any tile with music before. So lost. I am so lost. <sighs> what? Is this my way out? I assume so, but let me, let me just take a look. I'm not gonna go too far. Oh, I don't like this tight hallway. This, this kind of freaks me out. Wet floor sign. Fort fl blah, blah, blah. Wet floor sign? What is that? What is that? Is that a plant? Oh, it's just a plant. Okay, okay. I'm I'm just going back to the door. I, I'm I'm done in here. I don't like it in here very much. I'm outy. I'm a little scared. I I know I probably shouldn't be scared, but I am a little scared. Hard left. Through the tile tunnel. I know we've already been in here, but I'm still scared that I might see something or someone poke their face out around. Yeah, no more tickets to my knowledge. Huh. Okay. So it, it does well for us to really kind of inspect these spaces. So once you go in, there seems to be a secondary Location or another way out from where you first arrived because I was still at a uh, lower level technically from everything else But but this one didn't have the handshake, so I'm wondering if maybe this isn't an, even another <gasps> oh. oh That's what it means. Okay, I think I understand so I do need to find and open these elevators. Please wait for more visitors to arrive for departure. Before I can go to the service. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, we understand what we need to do now. You cost 20, let's go to the country club. 20 tickets, please. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Wait, you didn't say I had any tickets taken away from me. So I'm wondering if I still have the same amount. I was trying to see if I have an inventory. Doesn't seem like I do. Just pause and... That's it. Oh! Oh, look at this little place. This is great. Oh, tickets? How many do I have now? Okay, it did go down. It definitely did go down. So I'm at 120 now. Hole number one. Or the exit. Let's see where the exit takes me. I'm already lost. More tickets, please. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, that's it. If I wanted to leave, I, I just can. Oh, 
Okay. So that's pretty simple at least. This one gives us a bit more ease of getting around this place. Oh, more tickets? Oh, yeah. I want to find a big stack of 50 though. Yeah, exit. Okay, hole number one. Let's go. Where's my ball though? Hey, no, I want to I wanna play. Oh, here we go. It's mini golf. Oh, what a shot. I didn't even look. Oh, incredible. Absolutely incredible. Wait, where does this take me? This is defying all of the laws of <laughs> physics here. More tickets? Am I coming back to the same places over and over again? Or am I actually in a different area? Is this an infinite ticket generator? If I just, oh, oh. No, they're different every time. Hole number three. But I have no ball. Let's go hole four. Oh, here's a ball. Uh, right down the middle. Let's go. Ooh, that was really close. All right, little ball. Just, just ever so slightly. Bloop. Cool. All right, hole number five. Ooh, this one's cool. Let's give this one full power. Straight, uh, head. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, that's terrible. That's a terrible decision. Okay, let's get you through that one. <laughs> this is great. I like this. I really like this. This is such a silly little thing that we're doing, but it's great. Okay, this one's just a straight shot into the little rounded area. Cool. Ball in. Let's go. Um, so based on what I'm seeing here, I should go through every time to the exit because then I will find more tickets. At least five, ten for each hole? That seems about right. And then every time we go through, we'll get to another section. Oh, the lights just turned off behind me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I don't like the way that one looped like that. I didn't like that very much. But I got more tickets. Yay, tickets! 155, and there should be more over here. Thank you. What a weird section. Hole seven, okay, okay. We got this, we got this. Hmm. Okay, hole eight. Okay, this one has, uh, this one has the ball. Ha! Oh! Oh, kind of bounce in a weird spot. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's get the ball going. Huh. Oh, it needs more bounce. It needs just a little bit more bounce to it. Oh. <laughs> nice. You know, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going and see what happens. Wow, that really didn't do much. Now I did it. Huh. Yeah, the ball definitely needs a bit more roll to it to make this like a believable mini golf kind of thing. Oh, no, no, no. Not down the hall, the hill. Oh, gosh. I think we're flying. Okay, just a straight away. Wha bam! Are you kidding me? <laughs> the worst mini golf course I've ever played. Yay. Let's look back around again, why not? Get some more tickets for ourselves. Five more tickets. I is this the actual strategy that I'm supposed to be doing here? Very, very weird. Very strange game, this, this one. 
the ticket collecting is uh, pretty satisfying, though. I'm not going to lie. Hole 10. I've seen this one before. Wait, what? Hole 11. <laughs> My guy's probably just chilling here. Just trying to live his life right now, you know? He's just like, I'm stuck in this infinite plane of existence. And I'm forced to play... <laughs> forced to play... Oh. Mini golf. Oh, oh no, it went a little too far. <laughs> Yay. Okay, hole 12 is next. Let's grab some more tickets. Oh, I'm, I'm waiting for the time that there's like a hundred tickets just chilling here. But I think I've, <laughs> I feel like I've, I've had enough. I feel like I've had enough. I don't really need to keep going and playing this. I have 180. I can at least get to two more of these things. Hold 12. Skippy, skippy. Go to hole 13. Wow, this is a long one. 13th hole is wild. Hole 14. Ball's all set up for us, ready to go. Oh, some tight corners. Hole 15. How many holes are there in this mini golf course? It's a thousand hole course. <laughs> See, the one thing that's that's really great about mini golf is being in, in typically an outdoor space. So that way you can kind of see the entire course. If you if I started <laughs> playing mini golf and I was on this hole and I'm trying to hit this thing around the corners, and I see that <laughs> there's just no end in sight. I round the corner, I round the corner again, and I see this long stretch, I'm like, okay, well, let's keep going. And then it loops, and then it does this, and it goes back around, and it takes this long to get to the hole. I'd probably freak out just a little bit. Just be like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm still playing this. It would take me an entire day to get through this golf course, this mini golf course. Maybe that's because I'm just not a professional mini golf courser. 19? They don't stop coming. But you know, the professional mini golfer, he's small in stature, big in heart. Uh, <laughs> he or she, or they, would blast through these holes. Get a hole in one even. Just the most powerful shot you've ever seen. Just ricocheting off the walls. Potentially just going through the walls, depending on how little thickness these walls are. I've come to terms with the fact that I don't think there's any inherent horror elements to this game. Other than the fact that you're in a strange location. And I just know. I, I just know. I just know that I'm going to be so wrong about that at a certain point. So I'm kind of like with a reckless abandon just kind of running through these environments. Just doing my thing. Exploring. But you know. You all know at some point. I'm going to be jump scared out of my mind by something. Something is going to be around a corner. 26? How many holes are there? I'm going to be jump scared out of my mind. And it, and it's not even going to be a loud rah, rah, jump scare. It's going to be just the the the, the blurriest little shadow, little silhouette peeking, peeking out from behind a corner somewhere. One of these walls off in the distance. Oh, this hole is so long. <laughs> All right, I think I'm just gonna leave this place after I get to 30. If there's 31, I'm leaving. If there's 31, I'm just out. And I'm gonna go pay for the 100 ticket location first, I think. Because I have the tickets for it, you know. 
I have plenty of tickets. 29 holes? <laughs> this golf, this mini golf course is crazy. Keep going. Keep it moving. We got this. At this point, I feel like it's just procedurally generated. Right? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. 30? Say it ain't so. Say it ain't so that there's 31 holes, please. Or more. There's there's more than 30 holes is, is really the main concern. There probably are. <laughs> Where is the end? Oh, 31! We've survived. <laughs> Let's leave. Let's grab this last uh, bundle of five. Up to 190, that's pretty good in my book. So this one costs 20 to go into. Beep beep. Going up. Boop, boop. That's the better tone. Boop. Going up. So. We got mini golf. We got the conference center. What else do we have? I guess we'll find out. You're talking. We. Ow. <laughs> My knees. My ankles. <sighs> oh. Oh, this is the intro. Why would I replay it? It costs 75. Oh, maybe to get more tickets? So I've done three then, right? The aerobic and fitness. Conference center, we've done. We did the mini golf. So there's only two more then, right? This guy. And that guy, this is a hundred tickets. And how many is this? Is that 190 right now? 40. Oh yeah, okay. Nice, so I don't even really need to find any more tickets in the game. I found the, the most that I need to. Curious what the movie theater, oh, my eyeball. Something's stuck in my eye. Curious what the movie theater is gonna be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's literally something stabbing my eyeball right now. Oh, I like this. I like this. One of my earliest jobs. 10 credits. Wait, why is it 10 credits? Is it 10 credits to go back? One of my, one of my earliest jobs was uh, working at a, a movie theater. Worked at Regal Entertainment. 10 tickets. Oh, heck yeah. And uh, I actually really enjoyed working there because it was just next level. Oh. Oh. Oh, weird. Ten tickets. I guess you are supposed to do that. Um, I, I genuinely enjoyed working. It's great. It's a great like first job. Uh, it was I think it was my third job actually. It's very young uh, when I worked there, but uh, I had a lot of fun because we we would just it was a very small theater. I think it was five. Oh, there's five theaters in total. Turn on. Excuse you. You're a little creepy, little boss. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's that's really good. I see its reflection here. Uh, Say, so yeah, I worked at the movie theater and it was fun and blah blah blah. 
but it was a... It was really just a, a kind of goofing off job. Obviously, I did a lot of hard work when I worked there, and... Oh, I don't like this area. We can push it. Oh, I don't like this area. I, I, I immediately don't like this area. Is that 100 tickets? 50 tickets?! Excuse you. Uh, okay. Okay. Weird. <gasps> I love it. I love it. Give me all of your... <laughs> all of your gumballs. Incredible, incredible game. Man, look at all them gumballs. You, you, why are you staring at me without a face? Don't like it, I don't like it. So is that it? Is that all that's here? No, I can go to the mannequin, okay. Okay, mannequin's on the other side. But yeah, we just, uh, I did a lot of work there, but we goofed off a lot. Just had fun. Got to see a ton of movies for free, obviously. And, uh, man, ate so much popcorn. <laughs> Always just had so much free popcorn at the end of it. Because <laughs> you'd have to throw away a ton of popcorn at the end of a movie, movie theater's day. Because you can't keep it, obviously have day-old popcorn sold to people. So at this point, I just need to find... I just need to find the exit. Shoes, shoes, shoes! Dude, that looks like Payless shoes. Interesting. Yeah, I was worried that this game, this level, was gonna be very, very, very short. Oh, wait, what? What am I doing? I, I guess I'm taking you with me. Or maybe not. I'm very confused. A Minneapolis Mall. Grand opening. Hi. Okay, so we have an exit over here. I'm assuming I need to bring the cart to this exit? Ah. <gasps> Is this the, the bowling alley? Yes, yes. This is just like a weird, strange nostalgia game. The theater. The theater. I can't make it over this wall. Maybe I can find something to stand on. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I knew I should have grabbed that thing and continued taking it with me. I love, I love these kinds of carpets. The black light carpets. Seen a lot in arcades, bowling alleys, laser tag. Man, I, I uh, at PAX East last year, Devolver, uh, Devolver Digital, they make a lot of great games. If you haven't heard of them, you probably have. <laughs> um, they, at their booth, they, they bought a rug that was basically that exact rug, uh, some type of blacklight rug. And it's really great because you just walk into their their little booth section, and everything was just kind of the floor was kind of glowing. It was fun, and they had a really nice kind of booth section and environment that was very well set up. Okay, so if I bring you over here, oh, I didn't even see you, little tickets. Hippity hop, and we're over. Cool. Oh my gosh, 20 tickets! Whoa! I have too many tickets now. Next level. 250 to be exact. Ooh, what movie are we gonna see? Locked. 
One interesting perk of working in a movie theater, so these are the uh, the displays for the movie posters themselves. Uh, I, after a movie has passed its... Uh... <laughs> I'm out of here! <laughs> After a movie has passed its showing period, the movie posters, like the, the ones that are direct from the studios, they're just up for grabs. And uh, basically it was based on like seniority, how long you've worked at the theater, whether you get to choose first or not, what, what ranking you were, if you're a manager, if you're just a standard employee. Uh, but I have a bunch of really cool movie posters. Um, a lot of them, in fact, from when I worked at the movie theater. The this is cool. So I wonder if there's a back exit. Looking for tickets. Oh, I see more tickets. Get over here. I don't think I need any more, but, you know, we're, we're kind of at a point of just in case. I'm just grabbing anything that I can. Wait. Oh, now I'm confused. Oh, okay. Uh, fun fact, one of the really interesting places in a movie theater are the, the back alleys. So if you're looking at a movie screen, typically you'll see emergency exit signs in the very front. And some theaters will have a doorway that's kind of just right here, and it's it's an emergency exit. But what they don't tell you is that there's no alarms, at least in my theater, uh, there were no alarms that would go off. And it was actually a, a very long, just pure, just cement and like yellowed walls background, like uh, of the theater. And it was just like an alleyway that would lead you from theater to theater to the what was the eventual emergency exit? You're creepy. Have I been here already? It's a very, very similar one. It's cool. It's also creepy. Okay, we're still going up. So I guess this is a good sign, right? More tickets, please. But one of the worst things about working in a movie theater was the trash. And not just picking up the trash, but there's a very specific chemical reaction that happens when you work in a movie theater and popcorn is sitting in a sealed bag or somewhat covered bag and sits in trash juice, among other things, for long, long periods of time. Basically, the trash and popcorn start to ferment to make like a, a disgusting liquid corn trash juice alcohol. This is cool. This is really cool, actually. I like the imagery on this. Oh! Oh. <laughs> and it was the most, it's the most disgusting smell you'll, you'll ever smell in your life. Going up. It was just so gross. And you'd like take out the trash and all this popcorn and like soda soaked with popcorn is just sitting and like sometimes the bags will explode and it's just this disgusting juice everywhere. It's just, ugh grossest grossest smell like it sometimes it would like get on your hands like if the trash can, trash bag would explode it's pretty nasty pretty nasty stuff fun memories though oh and you got free movies too so you can just go into a movie anytime you want one of the best parts about it one two three uh, four so we only have one more then right 
This is probably the fastest way, by the way. Every sale is one ticket. Every sale is one ticket. The Hundy. The Family Tropical Resort. Let's uh, go. Okay, so this is gotta be the last one since I already went through one at the very beginning. This is the fourth of the ticket requiring. Actually, no, only three, because one was free and then one was just default. You got to go there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Schlocked. Oh. Oh, it's made of glass. Okay. Oh. Oh. It's one of these. Okay. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Didn't go far enough. There we go. All the way down. All the way around. Oh. <laughs> well then, I guess that works. Turning on the lights was a disaster, but a great disaster, apparently. Weird. I really, really like the panel puzzles. Oh, excuse me? <laughs> and I'm surprised there's not more of those in the game so far. This is laid out with a lot of people in mind. Oh my gosh. Press control or right bumper to crouch or slide? I can go on the ride. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, I love I love water parks. They're pretty gross, but I love them. Oh, that was satisfying. <gasps> the lazy river. I love the lazy rivers. There's no time where we're at. No time at all. <laughs> this is awesome. Maybe there's a way out in the lazy river. Yeah, this one says exit over here, so. Assuming we can just kind of scooch our way out here. This is cool. It always reminds me uh, when we were very young, my family took us to uh, Las Vegas, <laughs> of all places for kids, um, for my brother. He was doing a baseball, some type of baseball tournament. So this is not the way. And the one of the hotels that we stayed at had a a very small, uh, but it was a lazy river. I always really liked lazy rivers. And also like whenever I'd go to like a water park when I was a kid. Oh, where did you come from? <laughs> They're sentient, they move on their own. Oh wait. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Everything that just changed. Whoa. Ha ha ha. Oh, this is cool. But yeah, whenever we'll go to a water park, it's always fun to go hang out on the lazy rivers. Okay, let's go up here because I'm curious what's going on. Slide time, let's go! <laughs> okay, that was 100% worth it. 100% worth it. Another one, okay. Let's go! <laughs> Whee. Okay, so this seems to be the way. Left or straight? I'm gonna go straight. Go to the waterfall. So 
that can join here. It's good to know. Did this just bring me all the way back? I think it did. I've been here before? It looks the same, but I don't know if it is the same. Weird. Very weird. No, this is different now. Or am I going backwards now? Is that my guy making that noise? The hop. Am I going backwards? I'm so lost. Which is the exact point of this game. You just want to be lost, not knowing where you're going. Huh. I do appreciate the, the visual style of this game. Developers did a great job with their overall style stylistic choice like it's it's a very kind of bright and shiny atmosphere and environment i'm just looking for an exit sign at this point that looks different no that looks the same over there we're on the back side of it now did i do a huge loop tell me i didn't do a huge loop I hope not. Oh, I hope not. So confused. So lost. Lost in Anemiapolis. <laughs> Ooh, left or right? Um... No left. Left seems interesting. Double waterfall. Oh, that's new. Ooh, this is very new. But, uh, I mean, I guess in, in, like, the overall environment and kind of style of the game... <laughs> it's, it's all very believable in kind of how it looks and... The styles of the game, of the environments that you're put in, whether it's the mall, like the conference room. Again, the conference room looked identical to what I've seen. This kind of area, it's like the little kiddie pool section. They're all very similar to, to like, things I've experienced in, in real life and, like, areas I've experienced as a kid and kind of the way that I remember a lot of these places being. And it's always a very bizarre, kind of strange familiarity with these, these spaces and these things that you see. Man, where am I going? I would like to find the exit, please! Whee! Do I keep following the bridge? Or go somewhere else? I don't know if I keep following it to somewhere else now. Or if I want to repeat where I'm going. Well, that rock, that rock kind of scared me, I'm not gonna lie. Give me some chills. Body wasn't too sure of what I just saw. Oh, see, now we're getting back to this type of area. So everything's going backwards now? Back to the kiddie pool.
How much of this has been a loop? That's what I'm really worried about. Where am I going? I guess we truly don't know. Oh boy, left or right? Did I take a left before? What? Let me go, please! I just want to escape from this prison! Oh, dude, launch that thing. That's great. I guess I can play with the uh, the pool tubes. Tube time! Tube time! Let's go. Please. <laughs> Let me out of this purgatory! I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to go home. Let me go home. Please. Is this different? Oh, this is different. This is very different. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Is this the end? Is this the exit? So loud. This is great. This is great, though. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is about this game, but just going through these environments that are just like very reminiscent of of childhood. It's 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 cool. It's cool to kind of play around in these spaces. I probably shouldn't jump down, right? Well, let's, let's, let's take this, I guess. <laughs> oh boy, where's this, where's this taking me? Where's this taking me? All the way down to the depths, apparently. Whee! Sploosh. Splish splash. No, 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 Couldn't go up. Weird. Maybe I'd do it this way? Oh, God, thank goodness. I thought we were going to have to run through all of that. Oh, look at those tickets. It's probably where I need to go. It's right down there. If I were to uh, guess, or maybe down over that way. I don't like the sounds of this area. This area is creeping me out. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, why is it so dark down there? I don't like it. Take your time. Beep, 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 beep. Guess we're in the outside now. Okay, so these are the tickets I saw on the other end. So maybe I do need to drop down then at this point.
Oh boy. You know what has to be done. <laughs> it's locker time! <laughs> See anything? 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 Anything at all? Oh! 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 oh, oh. No! Give me those tickets. Cool. Oh. Oh. Nothing about these pools makes any sense. Yeah, I don't like this. I don't like this area. This is giving me the most like chills down my spine out of any section of this game so far. I don't know what it is. It's just really creepy. And I'm getting too many tickets. Like, I do not need this many tickets in my life. But here we are. Gathering... Too many... Tickets. Okay, so that was a drop-down area we could have gone to. I don't like that. I don't like that. We're out. We're out. Okay, I guess we're going through this weird water hall. Oh. Wait, what? Steph only- Oh, I can't jump out? Oh, no. I have 320 tickets. I have far too many tickets. tickets than the standard man can hold on to. <laughs> okay, so I can't go that way, apparently. So let's check over here. Where's this where it came from? Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. So this is where I came from, then. Was there somewhere else I could have dropped down? Maybe? So that's a drop down spot. Ah, another pool? But no, I've I've been over there. Yeah. So what happens if I drop down here? I wonder. Oh, it just brings you to here. Oh, if I drown here, nobody will notice. Oh, we're here. Oh, okay, so I was supposed to actually go up and around. Interesting. Oh, oh my eyes! The light, please, no! Okay, that goes back into the pool. Ah, okay, so do not go that way, because that will block us off. We won't be able to come back. This must be some kind of water reservoir. Probably. Janitor access locker rooms. Oh, oh, this is the next level. This is this is a very long section. It is dingy in here. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this area. I'm not gonna. I don't like this area. I'm gonna get out of here as fast as I humanly can. Exit. 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 <laughs> Keep moving. Oh, I don't like this! I don't like this! I don't like this! Exit! That's where I just went. Exit! Is there someone in here with me? Wait, what? I need to leave now?
don't know where the exit is. I'm seeing the same thing over and over again. I'm not turning around. I'm not turning around. Something is very wrong. E obviously, yes. Obviously, yes. What was in that locker room? I don't know and I don't want to find out. The pool and spa, in and outlet. Oh, dude, that was, that got me. That got me good. Because up until then, the whole game was just like, oh yes, nice and comfy. Just kind of exploring these fun little places. Am I supposed to go up here? <laughs> Seems like I am, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Kick open. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're inside here now. Oh, cool. Weird. Well, that was perfect. I, I honestly did not intend to try to play with something to get up there. Well, I'm going further and further away from the music, though, and the, the general light of this world. Man, that was a... That was an interesting way to build that up. Because... Like, who knows if, if there even was anything at the end of that. Like, we, we don't know. We, we, I don't think, I don't think you're intended to know if there's actually something following you or inside of that locker room. There very well could be. But there's no way to know. Okay, 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 this game, what is this? What is this game trying to do to me? What were you? What were you? Uh, man, they, they really just decided to be like, okay, it's a horror game now. Hop. Yep. Where am I? Can I leave? The elevator? Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. We're not gonna look. Straight for the elevator, straight for the elevator. Going up. Woo! Oh boy. <laughs> Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Game's giving me chills, man! Oh, I swear if that last elevator, the exit to the surface, it's like, mm, mm. <laughs> a 1,000 tickets, please. <laughs> I'm gonna scream. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Okay, we should be able to leave then, right? Please wait for one elevator to arrive. What? What? Replay? Did I not beat this one? Remember, every sale, one. 
No, what's that? Did I not do one of these? This one wasn't here before. Descend. I don't like this place. I'd like to go home, please. I'd like to go home. Oh, I'm getting a bad feeling about this area. Oh, I thought, I thought that was a silhouette of a man. Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> Is that just the exit? Cool. <laughs> I'm, never, I'm never coming in this one. I immediately hate this area. Come on. Okay. Okay. Man, that gave me a bad feeling the whole time. There. <laughs> Woo. Oh, there's that funky <laughs> okay well that's five of them now you gonna let me through Ooh, tickets can I go back to the service now I'd like to leave I have 345 tickets by the way gold it's gilded and gold Surely this won't truly be the service, will it? Hey. Hey, I'm in this elevator. Yes? Settle down. Over here. You know, of all the people who went down there, you're the first person to come back out. Back out. Your knowledge of this place is a liability. Hey, what are you talking about? Uh oh. You can't leave just yet. There's a friend of mine still down there. He owes me a few things. I'll think about opening this elevator when he's in it too. Dead or alive. Oh, here. Staff card. Going to bottom floor. Ah, there it is. Oh, cool. Oh, that was great. Andrew Quist. Intercom voice. The <laughs> HIO horror community. Yeah, liminal spaces. Oh, yeah, that was that was really good. This cool, cool little credit section too. Yeah, th th this game did a really good job of kind of pulling you into this false sense of security for 95% of the game. And then it's really not until you get to the f close to the final section, um, or I guess it would be intended to be this final section, the, the whole like water park place going into the locker room where all of a sudden this thing is you can hear footsteps and you can hear something else. It sounds like it's chasing you. All of a sudden it's turning on the water faucets. So you're curious as to who or what is down there with you. 
and then you finally do see that specter, that dark specter, uh, kind of floating. And I'm very curious if some people miss that, because like that was just like a random door I decided to go in that let me go to like kind of the the front of that shop, uh, like the window section. And I was like, oh, oh, <laughs> that's when I realized like, oh, this this is this is pretty creepy. Um, I, I think for this game. Like, I know they were going for a specific feeling and everything, but um, some of the sections, like, I feel like, I guess I guess that it's really kind of up to interpretation and what your preferences are, because you, you can really get lost in this game and really enjoy the, the, the really just kind of sprawling environments of each kind of elevator section that they put you through. Whether it's the conference rooms, the, the kind of back room style, the water park, wh whatever it may be. Um, the, the indoor golf course, that one was just kind of strange. Like, I know you could just leave that one immediately, but I feel like there's, it, there's a, it's a double-edged sword. You want to be respectful of the source material where in these liminal spaces, or rather kind of it's, this is leaning more towards like a backrooms style thing where it feels like an infinite space, but at the same time, you're, you're playing a game. So you want to have a sense of okay, I'm getting through this, I'm making progress. So especially in the water park section where I was just kind of going through the lazy river, that felt like I was doing something wrong. I'm glad I kept pushing forward, but at a certain point you're just like, uh, is this is this over? Is it is it gonna keep going? Um, and I think it's nice for something like the, even the golf course. The golf course itself was an interesting fit into the rest of the theme. But I appreciated how it gives you the option to keep going forever into the higher uh, holes, or you can just go to the exit anytime that you really want. Um, so it gives you, the player, that option. If you want to keep exploring through the this weird underground portion, or if you want to move on to the next one. And I feel like some of these other places could benefit from uh, either having that kind of option, or at least making some of these massive sprawling spaces at least slightly smaller so that they're game, uh, gamified and able to be uh, a bit more synced. But uh, I really like the direction that this developer went with this game. It's very cool. They set it up so that there's uh, further chapters. This game is called Anemiapolis Chapter 1 on Steam. Um, so I knew going into this that obviously they're going to make this into just like a series of some sorts. But um, hope that this developer continues making awesome games and excited to see what Chapter 2 would be for this. I'm very, I'm honestly very curious to see what people think about this one since you really do need to put quite a bit of uh, investment of time into this one to really start getting kind of the payoff towards the end and really just changing kind of the, the thematics and the, um, the, the feelings of dread as you get towards the end of the game and realizing like, oh boy, I, I gotta leave this place. <laughs> so... For whether it's you're playing or you're actually just watching me play this, I'm curious how many people have kind of stuck around to the end, got to see some of these cool sections, uh, got to see some of the danger towards the end here. But hope you all enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear any thoughts and feelings from you all. If you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, you're welcome to follow me on any of my other socials like my Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, got a Discord channel, and a bunch of other cool things always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later.